Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Ron Uncut. We're probably welcome to another episode of A Little Chapel Today. Today's topic of discussion is my first impressions of Call of Duty World War II. As you see, this is the official gameplay from the private beta from weekend number two. I was playing Mosh Pit. My team was Buns. And of course, they got us playing Hardpoint, the worst game mode in all of Call of Duty. Only worst map in the game. And we're getting crushed by 30 points. Look at that score. Now regardless of all that, I actually love the feel of the game. I love that it slowed down a bit, which is how I love Call of Duty. You know what I'm saying? I'm an old school Call of Duty fan. You know what I'm saying boots on the ground, traditional boots on the ground. Even though when it comes to boots on the ground, it's a lot of camping that goes on. But I love the fact that it's a lot easier to get a kill. As you see, I just got a double kill right there. Double, give me that. It's a lot easier to get a kill on this game. The hit detection is a little bit all over the place, kind of like Black Ops 3. But that's not really a problem to me. As long as I can get a kill, we're good. That's another one right there. Fuck you thought you was going, bitch. Lay it down. Um, the grenades. I don't really care for the grenades, but I love the fact that... Damn, I just got cleaned up. I love the fact that when people throw grenades, you can actually see the shit coming. Like that that little warning that pops up. It's a lot bigger, so it'll let you know when it's actually coming so you can move the fuck out the way. And I love the fact that they added the dolphin diving aspect to the game because it helps you move away from grenades just got another kill and then I got sniped out my socks baby sweet Jesus speaking of that sniping shit the sniping and the shotgun is gonna be two of the main things that piss me off when it comes to playing this for the simple fact that the sniper rifles have aim assist and then the shotguns have incendiary rounds like I don't understand that why Slash Hammer would implement that into the game just to fuck it up it's beyond me but aside from all that I love the overall feel of the game I love how it plays I don't like how people play the game like that shit right there the traditional Call of Duty shit where you get shot in the back I don't like that man not to mention those spawns look at that spawn you see that shit Shane as soon as I spawn I run up and not even two seconds later I get fucked up you know what I'm saying <laughs> but aside from all that, I think I'm going to love this game. Call of Duty Aggression is going to be great when it comes to this game. See how easy it is to get a kill? And I just cleaned this next dude up with the 50 cow. I love that they implemented 50 cows in this game. Like, look at that shit. It's OP, but it's so fun to use. Now, as far as the maps go, there were only four available maps. Technically, it was five, but one was exclusive to the brand new game of War that's going to be in the game that I'm actually going to have a lot of fun playing. I'm going to talk about that in a second. But... There are only four maps available, and they were the shittiest maps in the game, just my humble opinion. I mean, of course they're going to start you off with the shittiest maps. It's the beta, what you expect? They gave us Achen, they gave us Gibraltar, as you've seen in the gameplay. They gave us Point Du Hoc, and they gave us Arden's Forest. Gibraltar is the worst map in the game, by far. It's the smallest map in the game, so far. The spawns is ridiculous. The map is just all over the place. Like, everywhere you run, you get shot in the back, and this... It's not like getting shot in the back on Black Ops 3, which happens oh so often. It's worse on Gibraltar because it happens like every five goddamn seconds. You know what I'm saying? It's the thing I hate about this map, man. If you ain't getting shot in the back, you're getting shot by somebody camping in a goddamn corner. This game, this game, this map has way too many camp spots. Arnest Forest comes in as a close second to being the worst map in the game. That map's just all over the place, period. You know what I'm saying? Then you got Point Du Hoc. It's a trench map, but that is Camper Central. People just camp in the trenches the entire goddamn time. And I don't I, I don't like that shit. Now Achen is the better of the four. It's still shitty, but it's better by far. It's a broken down library map and it's a lot easier to get kills on that map. It's actually more of an AR type of map. Assault rifles for people that don't understand abbreviations. I'm more of an SMG type of guy I like to run and gun and get those quick kills you know what i'm saying just get those quick kills from the hip but when it comes to ars as far as this game goes if you use the infantry division which i'm actually going to talk about in a minute use the infantry division you automatically have the bayonet animations where when you melee somebody instead of hitting them with the ass of the gun like every other gun you can actually stab them right in the heart with the knife at the end of the gun and i love that shit. i got a class on here called it's a knife with the STG, and I was beasting with that shit. When I got close to an enemy, I knifed the hell out of him. You know what I'm saying? That's what I love about Archon. You can catch somebody camping in the corner, and you won't be camping there for long because when somebody comes around with that bayonet, night, night, bitch. Now, the final map, I believe, is called Operation Breakout, and it is exclusive to the brand new game mode in War, in which you and your team have to transport a tank. Look at this dude laying down. And uh, before I continue, look at this shit right here. That's how you're supposed to get a kill in World War II? Jump shotting? Get the fuck out of here. That's the shit that's going to piss me off 
when I do Call of Duty aggressions for this. I did two episodes for this already. And in those streams, you see me raising my goddamn head off. That shit is really going to piss me off. Jump shotting, that is a no-go. You jump shotting, that's all you do. You are a goddamn tryhard. Like I was saying, in the game mode war, you and your teammates are transporting a tank and occasionally you are defending the tank from being escorted to the drop off. It may seem boring on paper, but it's actually pretty fun when you actually play it. And as far as the map goes, Operation Breakout is actually one of the biggest map, if not the biggest map in the game. And it's actually one of the best maps in the game. Actually, it is the best map so far, that is. Uh, the map is huge, even though people still be in the back of the map camping. Majority of the time, the people that's camping are snipers. So at that point, I don't really mind it. Snipers always camp in the back of the map. You can't run and grab with a sniper rifle and expect to get a kill from the hip. You know what I'm saying? It's not possible. But the one thing I love about Operation Breakout is the fact that it's a lot easier to get a kill streak on that map. I got my first kill streak, my first and only kill streak on the map, and it was a flamethrower. And it wasn't even mine. I actually stole somebody's care package. <laughs> but I got my first kill streak, and it was a flamethrower, and I was beasting with that shit. And it's a whole lot easier to use than that bullshit ass purifier specialist on Black Ops 3. Purifier, like as soon as you pop that shit open, you get killed immediately. You know what I'm saying? There's no way around it. But on World War 2, it's a lot easier to use that shit. And I don't know how I did get that kill right there. That was some bullshit. You see that? It's the jump shot shit I'm talking about, bro. That's the shit I'm talking about. Aside from all that, I feel like this game has the potential to be one of the best Call of Duties of all time. It's going to blow Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 3, and Infinite Warfare especially Black Ops 3, out of the goddamn water. It's gonna seem like Black Ops 3, Advanced Warfare, and Infinite Warfare never existed. Cause Infinity War, Treyarch, and Sledgehammer games knew they fucked up by putting that advanced movement shit in the game. And I am so happy that this year, there won't be any advanced movement. There won't be any sliding. There won't be any wall running. There won't be any boost jumping. It's one of the main things that pissed me off on Black Ops 3, and Infinite Warfare for that matter. And I just melee the shit out of that bitch. That's, that's what I'm talking about right there. That's what I'm talking about. Melee that bitch. If he can't get the kill straight up, just knife his ass in the heart. Granted, that was kind of panic knife, now that I think about it. <laughs> there you go, jumping again. There he go, jumping again. I will give Sledgehammer Games the benefit of the doubt when it comes to advanced movement, though. Because they actually did it right on Advanced Warfare. It's actually smooth. You know what I'm saying? It was smooth and it played well. The game still sucked ass, though, but it played better. You know what I'm saying? They did something that Treyarch and Infinity War didn't do right. At least... Infinity War actually graced us with a boots on the ground mode in, in, in Infinite Warfare. I'll give them that. But Treyarch, no goddamn excuse. That advanced movement shit should have been nowhere near Black Ops. Black Ops 3 could have been on the same caliber as Black Ops 2. It could have been just as good, if not better, than Black Ops 2 if it wasn't for that, that advanced movement shit. Not to mention that whole specialist shit, which also single-handedly ruined the game for me. I did not like that specialist shit. There are some specialists that are OP and then there are some specialists that are ass. They're not balanced whatsoever. I don't care what anybody says. Everybody's entitled to their own opinions and that's just my humble opinion. Black Ops 3 sucks ass, but it could have been good if it wasn't for all that bullshit that they added to the game. You know what I'm saying? It is Black Ops. You know what I'm saying? How can you fuck that up? You have Black Ops 1, which was a classic. Granted, I never played it, but I have seen gameplay, and that game was a classic. Black Ops 2, there are some things wrong with the game, but that game is a classic. But they fucked it up with Black Ops 3. And then Infinity War, my favorite Call of Duty company ever, aside from Slash Chapter Games, decided to hop on that bandwagon and they John Looney too, with Infinite Warfare. You know how many dislikes that Infinite Warfare trailer got? Over a million. That's how you know you fucked up. You know what I'm saying? But we lost this game right here. I don't know what the hell my KD was. It'll pop up in a second. Let's see. 11 and 22. I actually did pretty decent for this game. Even though this map sucks ass. Now I decided to save the best for last. It's one of the main things that people complained about. The fact that you can't create a class the way you want to. This is actually my favorite part about the game. Now you don't have to deal with those dickheads that make their classes too overpowered. You know what I'm saying? You have to go through divisions. Each division has their own perks, and each perk is separated. You know what I'm saying? They're all divided into each division. You have infantry, which is strictly AR, assault rifle, airborne, which is um, SMG, armor, which is LMG, mountain, which is sniping, and then expeditionary, which is shotguns. Now, in each division, you actually have skills, and every time you level up, you unlock a new skill for infantry. 
The first skill is already unlocked, you have the Rifle Bayonet, of course. Once you level up to level 2, you have additional primary attachment, which means you can have 3 attachments for an Assault Rifle. You can even use SMGs and LMGs in the Infantry class, and you get 3 attachments for those as well. You also got extra mags, you can move faster while aiming down the sights. And then you get a classified rifle at the end when you level it all the way up. Now for Airborne, if you like to stick and move, you like to run a gun, Airborne is the division for you. First of all, the SMGs come with a built-in suppressor, which means you can actually have two other attachments on top of the suppressor. Not to mention, you can actually attach, detach, and reattach the suppressor, which is pretty goddamn cool. Not only that, when you level up to number two, you can sprint for longer distances, which is actually pretty cool seeing as Sprinting in this game doesn't last as long as other games do. You actually get pretty tired easily. So sprinting for longer distances is a must. Especially number three, climbing over long, uh, climbing over obstacles faster. You can actually get out of a kill quicker by climbing over obstacles faster. Level four, increased sprint speed. They do sprint kind of slow. So with that, you can sprint fast and shit and running gun like you want to. And then obviously you got your classified weapon, which is more than likely prestige or it just might be the best weapon in the game. Who knows? Now for armor, which is mainly LMG based, for level 1 you have LMG bipod. I have no idea what the hell a bipod is. Somebody gonna have to fill me in on that. But aside from all that, you are immune to shell shock and tactical equipment, which is pretty cool. You take less fire damage, you take less explosive damage, which is also pretty cool. You pretty much just got flight jacket all together. And then you have your classified weapon, which is more than likely prestige. Now for the mountain division, you have sniper sharpshooter, which is basically aim assist, which is also bullshit. At the same time, it's not bullshit because it makes it easier for me to use snipers. You know, somebody want to sweat with a sniper rifle, I can sweat too. But aside from all that, you have invisible to enemy recon and aircraft while moving. You also are hidden from player control streaks, solid movement, and as always, your classified weapon. Now for the bullshit. Expeditionary, which is mainly for shotguns. Your shotguns have incendiary rounds, which is the most OP shit in the game. It's more OP, I'm not even gonna say it's more OP than any specialist in Black Ops 3, because that I'll be lying my ass off. Specialist in Black Ops 3 is absolute fucking garbage. But the incendiary shotguns, that is also garbage. They should just leave that for GTA 5 cheats and Saints Row. You know what I'm saying? But aside from all that, the shotguns, that's the shotguns. The shotguns have incendiary rounds. They also have a select piece of tactical and lethal equipment. You can throw equipment faster and farther while sprinting, which is actually pretty cool. You can resupply equipment from killed enemies, meaning if you're running out of ammo, you can run up on an enemy, kill his ass, and take all his ammo, which is pretty fucking cool. I think I actually used that in Black Ops 2 a couple times. And as usual, you have your classified weapon, which I'm pretty sure is prestige. I haven't looked that up yet. Next, we have the basic training, which is basically extra perks. First one we have is Rifleman, which is basically the overkill perk. You can take a primary weapon as a secondary. I usually go with the shotgun when I use overkill. Then we have Hustle, where you can reload while sprinting. You have four eyes where you can resupply bullets from killed enemies. Lookout, which is the marksman perk, where you can see enemies further on the map. And then launch, where you can carry an RPG. Then you have Ordnance, Energetic, Bang, Requisitions, Espionage, Gunslinger, and Duelist. But aside from all that, I have high hopes for the game. Cannot wait till this game drops on November 3rd. I'm going to be all over this shit. But with that being said, I'm going to wrap this up like a big bag of condoms. I'll see y'all in the next episode of Call of Duty Aggressions. I'm going to get one more game in, and I'm going to get the fuck up out of here. But with that being said, I'm out, man. Peace. Fuck Donald Trump. And look at this loading screen. I love how this is set up. I wish they would do this for other Call of Duties in the future. But with that being said, toodles. Bye, have a great time.